What do you think the reason is that more physicists aren't actively critiquing the academic organization that, that they're a part of? So I hear plenty of critiques off air from professors that I speak to, but on air, they're much more reluctant. And one reason may be that that occurs to people who are listening could be, well, the academic positions are precarious, especially without tenure. So when you speak, it's like you're biting the hand that feeds you. And so maybe you have the incentive to do the opposite, to say, no, no, I love everything about where I work and everything is copacetic. No, I think very few people say that. <laughs> okay, so you're one of a, maybe 10 people that I know who are currently in the academic institution. Right, yes. Who are willing to say there's something rotten at the core of the institution. And the difficulty here is when most people say something is rotten at the core of an institution, they get labeled as a conspiracy theorist. The mental image people have of what you think is, okay, at some point people sat around with cigars thinking, how can we make this less efficient yeah, no, and more yeah. beneficial to myself? And there were distributions of notes that said, burn after reading. Yeah, yeah, nothing like that. This is nobody's fault. Nobody is to blame. Th that is part of why, it, why it, the, the, it, it's hard to change. So why is it that you're a part of a small handful of people who are willing to publicly talk about this? Well, I'm, I again, I can't psychologize. Uh, sorry, I'm being... <laughs> that's I'm, fine. I'm, and you can feel free to disagree with the premise. You can also say, Kirk, no, no, no I think that's, that's false. No, I can I, list 20 I, I people think, who... I, th I think it's true that few people want to criticize it, especially in public. But um, uh, I, I can't speculate on why. Um, you know, is it because of their career, like you said? Uh, is it because they consider their position precarious? Um, uh, a whole load of other considerations come in once you have tenure, um, because you're not you're not um, you're not a free agent when you have tenure. It's it's supposed to make you um, to free you from peer pressure or whatever you call it. Uh, or public pressure, but in practice, that that doesn't really happen. Very many people who who get permanent jobs um, just slot into the system, and I don't know why, but some sociological reason, perhaps. Again, uh, you're making me speculate about things I don't know about. 